So in this video, I'll be discussing some villains that I'd like to see in Injustice 2. So let's get to it. First one is Akrilo. Now Akrilo is a Yellow Lantern and he's one of the strongest Yellow Lanterns. He's got a great strength level and a really ruthless like personality that makes him a great character to play with and really fun. And that's what would be cool to have him as part of the Injustice 2 game. Another character is Metallo. Now Metallo is a Superman villain and he's got a heart of kryptonite which makes it really tricky when Superman deals with him. And that'd be a really cool reason to see the way Metallo plays out in Injustice 2. Amazo is a great character as well. His ability is he can copy the powers of any hero he faces. That includes Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash, and even Martian Manhunter. You can copy their ability to go intangible. The super strength, super speed, freeze breath, all that allow can be copied by Amazo. And that's be a really unique idea and to see how Amazo plays out as a character. Another character is Despero. Despero is a great character as well. He's got strength level that is on par with Superman. He travels the universe looking for fights. He's got uh, really advanced technology. On top of all that, he's a telepath. He can control minds and Overall, he's be a really fun character. He's got a vast range of abilities that makes him really cool to play with. Anti-Monitor is another character that could be um, played out in the Injustice uh, 2 game. And he's really strong. He can level entire universes, entire galaxies, entire planets by himself. He's on par with Darkseid and one of the strongest characters in the entire DC universe. Another character would be Detra. Detra is a great character as well. He's got great uh, marksman skill, has really good aim and almost never misses. Another character is Lar Fleece. Now Lar Fleece is a Green Lantern villain, but this guy is an entire Green Lantern army by himself. He is literally a one-man army. And that's the strength that Lar Fleece possesses. He's got the strength of an entire Green Lantern army. Black Manta is an Aquaman villain. We did see him in the Injustice background, and it'd be really cool to have him as well. And he's a great character overall. Star Sapphire is another Green Lantern villain. Her ring is powered by love and Lord Fleece was powered by greed, hers is by love and she is a great character as well. I'd love to see the way she uh, plays out in the Injustice 2 game and what her passive is. Cyborg Superman, a great character. He has strength level that's on par with Superman and he's got technology, he's got a rare, um, he's got the rare metal on him and that makes him really durable, gives him super strength and he'd be a really cool uh, and fun character to play with. Poison Ivy, similar to Swamp Thing, her powers revolve around plants and she's a Batman villain, but she's also sometimes played as a hero, but more, more or less she's a villain, but she's got great powers as well. It'll be really cool to see how she plays out in Injustice 2. Talon is one of the less known uh, characters in the DC Universe, but he's an amazing martial artist that is on par with Batman. He's got great martial arts skills, really good with knives, and he'd be a cool character to play as well. Fida is another villain. She's got uh, great speed, agility overall, really uh, strong uh, villain of Wonder Woman, and she'd be a cool character as well. Raisha Ghoul, one of the best martial artists on alive, and he'd be uh, he'd, he'd got great knowledge as well, and be a fun character to play as well. Talia El Ghoul is the daughter of Raisha Ghoul, and she's an amazing martial artist as well. She's on par with Batman. It'd be really cool to see how if she uh, appears in Injustice 2. Owl Man, part of the uh, an amazing character as well. He's part of the alternate Earth. He's got the same skills as Batman, and is really good, just like Batman. Uh, Ultraman, he is the counterpart. Uh, of Superman and he's, he's he gets power from Kryptonite unlike being weakened to Kryptonite and it'd be a cool character for him as well. Bizarro would be another character. Now he uh, is kind of like a backward Superman but he's got the same strength level as Superman, same powers and be a cool character to play with as well. Mongo is the Earth uh, planet conquering from individual who just goes around galaxies conquering planets would be um, another amazing character to play with as well. He's really strong, he's got great durability and a cool character. Captain Cold is a Flash villain. The rogues, you know, his powers revolve around using, he's uh, going to absolute zero and using that uh, uh, freeze device to freeze individuals and other people. Vandal Savage is another uh, strong individual, great martial artist and amazing uh, level of knowledge. Uh, and he just wants to, he, he'd be a cool uh, character to play in, in the game. Zoom, now we do have Reverse Flash in the mobile game, but Zoom is not a character. So Zoom is different from Reverse Flash, and keep in mind that he is a Flash villain. He's really strong. He can, he has the ability to alter his relative time, giving the effect of super speed, and a really cool character to play with in the Ninjas. It'd be really, really cool. Really, everyone wants to see Zoom in the game. A lot of people want to see Zoom being played out in the game. Two Face, a Batman villain. It'd be really cool to see him as well as Penguin. He's another Batman villain. It'd be cool to see him as well and Scarecrow. From Arkham Knight, we saw how effective Scarecrow is and how he can really just for a revolution. And he's another Batman villain that'd be cool to see in Injustice. 
And that's the video guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.